so I know this is a baseball video and we're gonna to get to that in one second I just need somebody to help me understand how Geno Smith been in this league like six seven years I'm not gonna double check but like over five years six seven years whatever it is he's been in this league he finally I'm not even gonna say he had a good game he had his best game ever after seven years. My man's running around with the game ball. He's talking about they wrote him off. Bro, you're washed. I, listen, listen. He, I don't even think he had 200, 200 yards passing. My man's out like he won the Super Bowl. Yo, I cannot. He said they wrote him off. You, you went in the league seven years. You had a game with two touchdowns. Barely 200 yards passing, and you're running around a game ball like you won the Super Bowl. I cannot. I hate the NFL. Yo, I cannot do this. Yo, this is craziness. Oh my God. And you know, since we're talking about craziness, if you if you played Spencer Strider tonight, which all you did, if you listen to this video, you played Spencer Strider. He's another he's another goofball. Giving giving it up giving it up to the, the the Giants, San Francisco. San Francisco. It's been a long it's been a long two days. I'm tired and I'm cranky. So we're gonna get this video we're gonna get this video going. We're gonna we're gonna get straight to the point. Go straight for the nuts. You understand what I'm saying? We start with DraftKings. We start with point point guard. We start with um pitcher you got DeGrom, DeGrom, Cole, Darvish. Uh, Alright, first of all, if you watch my videos, you know I'm playing DeGrom. So, okay, let's just make sure we all understand each other. Because I'm not in the mood today. You understand what I'm saying? Garrett Cole, uh, listen, I'm not playing Garrett Cole. I don't know if he, if he got better since his last couple of debacles. Um, Alright, last game was, okay, so... Last Minnesota, anybody can do good against Minnesota, so that means nothing. The Angels, 15 fantasy points. Oakland, 37. Um, Seattle, 12 and 29. Tampa Bay, 19. He's been pedestrian. He's not worth his money. He's not worth his salary though, especially not against Boston. You think he can give you 40 fantasy points against Boston? Yeah, all right. You Darvish against Seattle, I'll pass on him also. Kershaw against Arizona, I might have to pass on him also. Um, let's see. I think he had a pitch four, five, and six innings last three games. He's decent, but I'm not paying 10K for a guy that's not going to go deep. Kyle Wright, he went to bed last time he played. Remember, he gave up like 40 runs. He gave up. Eight runs against Oakland, negative five fantasy points. You know what? I might go back to him because he's usually very good. 27, 34, 23, 21. He had a four in there. 20, 25, 19, 17. I might go back to him and um, give him a pass. Merrill Kelly against the Dodgers. I don't think so. Logan Gilbert, you want to take a shot? I've added Jordan Montgomery. You want to take a shot against Milwaukee? Have at it. Joe Ryan, you want to take a shot? Have at it. I think the last guy I want to take a shot shot with is maybe Michael Kopech against Colorado. That's maybe, a strong maybe. Colo Colorado got some guys on that team that I don't want to really play with. Um, last five games, 3, 33, 7, negative 10, and 4. I'm not playing Michael Kopech. I was just playing. Um, yeah, Joe Ryan, Montgomery. Logan Gilbert, Kyle Wright, DeGrom. I don't think I'm messing with Cole, Darvish, Kershaw for that money. I'm not I'm not I'm not messing with Seattle. You see what Seattle been doing? I think I'm I'm gonna play a pitcher for ten point six K to get smashed, what I look like. I'd rather play DeGrom. DeGrom you know, DeGrom is in control. I'm not gonna I'm gonna ride him until he gets again. 33, 33, 31, 24, 34. Listen, finding value is easy in MLB. 
especially if you're patient and with for a starting lineup. So, uh, uh, 11, 11.8K, the Grom means nothing to me. At least I'll have the, the, um, I'll have the satisfaction of knowing that, um, the Grom is going to give me a strong performance. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Let's put the Grom in here. Let's get some bats. Um, you know, I go for matchups. And Chad Cool, one of the worst pitchers in baseball, is going against the White Sox. I'm definitely playing the White Sox. Cole Reagans is going up against Oakland. Definitely playing some Oakland, especially for value. Then you got Bu Bubich, who's awful. You could take some pieces out of Minnesota. Definitely not playing the whole stack. And then I think these two these two guys are both are these are bullpen games. Matt But Matt Bush is definitely a relief pitcher. And Herger. Let's see what Herger is. I don't know what Herger is. Oh, he's a rookie. He's a bullpen guy, so there's a bullpen, bullpen game. So, you want to take a shot on Toronto and St. Louis? You can. Those are bullpen games. You definitely take get pieces out of Minnesota. Oakland's in play. Baltimore's in play. White Sox is in play. Um, Texas is in play. And. I like, I like pieces of Colorado also. And I say all that because they're great matchups. These are awful pitchers. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, um, let's go to catcher. Let's pick up a catcher from the White Sox. Um, where are you, buddy? Okay, yeah, that's Monty Grandel, 2800. So we're already starting off with a bang. Grandel is my second highest projected catcher on this slate. And like I said, I already like White Sox. So I already, what I do is I already check, I already look for my for my uh, matchups that I want to target, and then I run my crunches. So once I already have in my head what teams I want to target. Once my crunches matches that with the projections, then that's how I start my process. Then I start doing, you know, all the other things that I do. But that's how I started. So my, me, me crunching, me crunching lineups and um, crunching projections are is the second thing I do when it comes to getting my um, slate started as far as making lineups. Um, so we're going Grandel. Um, All right, we're definitely going to the outfield real quick. We're going to play a guy and hope that he stays healthy. Aloy Jimenez, 4,500. So you're getting a, a power bat, um, batting cleanup for 4,500, which is amazing. We're going to pick up Cedric Mullins. If you want to continue to stack, continue to stack. Let me see something real quick. I want to see who's pitching for Boston. Because it looks like the Yankees are finally woken up. Pavetta. Alright, Pavetta. Twelve, five, two, seven, twenty-two, and twenty-nine. I'm not feeling too confident against the Yankees. Like I said, the Yankees have woken up. If you want to make the Yankees one of your main stacks or your main stacks, I've added. I might just take Judge out of it, but um, he's not a priority at the at the moment with all this value going on. And you're gonna want to get another decent pitcher. So um, we're going to shortstop. We're picking up Alvis Andrus. Now, I want you guys to understand that all of the all of the the DFS shows say 
that Elvis Andrews is washed and he's not good. That's what they say, right? His fantasy points say something else. Last, okay, 2, 25, 17, 23, 7, 0, 21, 8, 25, 3, 12, 16, 5, 8, 8. Um, for, for a guy that's barely 3K, batting leadoff, absolutely not washed. Definitely playing... Elvis Andrews in the, in the at the top of this White Sox lineup um, against Mr. Cole on this slate. So for DraftKings, this is what I'm going in with. I'm going in with the Grom, Grandel, Andrews, and Jimenez from the White Sox. I'm going with Cedric Mullins from Boston. You can continue to ba Boston. Sorry, Baltimore. You can continue to Baltimore stack. There's going to be a lot of money left over. Because these guys are fairly cheap, you could play, you could play um, Judge if you like, but he's kind of cool. He's kind of cooled down. I kind of low key like um, St. Louis in that bullpen game. You know what I'm saying? And I like the the power bats of Colorado. I know it's a lot of information to process, but I just want to get through this video. Um, if you don't get all the information that I'm telling you in one shot, then just watch the video again. No, no worries. Let's go to Fandom. Alright, if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. Thank God we can only focus on baseball today. If you want my entire up-to-date optimal lineup sent to you right before lot, check out the Patreon link in the description or DM me on Twitter for a day pass or a week pass. That's that. Um, you know, you want to take a look at the FanDuel prices for the same pitches that we just spoke about. Have at it. Everything looks, so, you know, everything looks cordial where it needs to be. Um, nothing really stands out. Yeah, everything looks about right. So let's just go to Degrom. We know where we're going. We know what we're doing. So we're going to Degrom now with FanDuel, where you can have two first basemen because of utility. That's usually what I do. We're going to someone who's underpriced. We're picking up Adley Russman from Baltimore. Remember, I said I like Baltimore, and then we're going to go to Utility and pick up Grandel. And Grandel is a lock. I, I um, in this case, him batting in the seventh hole. Hopefully, he gets moved up, but he's absolutely fine because of the spot that the White Sox are in, and he's near minimum twenty one hundred. I don't see any way I take him out of this lineup because he's going to allow me to do whatever I want. So now we go, we go to, we go to the outfield. We pick up Mullins, who's going to be batting right behind Russman. So I like playing guys in sequential order so that when they go off, you get all the points. You know what I'm saying? And one more person, a white sock. Let's go to outfield. Let's stay in the outfield. My bad. Um, 3,200. Eloy, Jimenez. Boom. I did all of that. I'm playing the Grom, and I still got almost 3K left. And all of it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, listen. That's, that's all I got for you today. I'm tired. And Gino Smith pissed me off. Listen. Once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Um, hope you had a profitable, hope you had a profitable, um, day, weekend. Listen, I'm here bitching about, I'm bitching about, um, Geno Smith, but I, I, I cashed on DraftKings. I didn't cash, did I cash on FanDuel? I don't think I cashed on FanDuel, but I definitely cashed on DraftKings. I played, I played McManus at, um, in my captain spot in one of my DraftKings lineup. 
because I had a feeling something goofy was going to happen. So I'm not I'm not crying that I didn't cash. I'm crying because Geno Smith thinks he's him and he's not him. You know what I'm saying? Geno Smith, <laughs> Geno Smith is washed. Let me tell you something before I go. You'd have put me out there with, with some receivers and an offensive line, I would have had more than 200 passing yards tonight. Get Geno Smith the fuck out of here. Listen, that's all I can do. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.